Good morning, folks. The officials have located the most dangerous western U.S. fault zone, and it's not San Andreas. It's the southern Oregon, northern California coast region that sees five pointers every few months. Then they went and told us to be on watch for the next 40 years. Thanks, guys. No jokes or snickering at this, the Great Barrier Reef, which lies beneath Earth's biggest ozone hole, has fish suffering from skin cancer. Right after the news was posted yesterday, China saw a five-pointer. Less than an hour after that, a polar quake, 4.3 as north as you can go. The same New Zealand location of yesterday's five-point quake is swarming with moderate four magnitude quakes this morning, and we just had a six-pointer hit Peru. A giant rogue wave pounded fishing communities in the eastern Philippines. Best guess is it could be related to the two cyclones set to pound China. One is thrashing Taiwan right now. You can see them sneaking towards landfall. Speaking of, it's not near us yet, but you can almost be sure this baby will keep that trajectory. Three new links added to the list today, one being Hurricane Tracker. Another is the pressure map when we can see, uh, zooming in on the Atlantic, that isolated blue low pressure system. The red area above it is high pressure and will guide it into the tropics. Watching this and the rest of the world on the El Dorado World Composite, we've also linked this for you below. Let's look at the solar wind, the yellow, the speed is steady, the orange spikes around 1700 UTC and remains elevated, that's the solar wind density, and I might have been wrong about yesterday's glancing blow, it could be this. Not to worry, however, it's a very weak impact, barely any plasma penetration, all of the magnetometers look stable and quiet, a bit of induction from the bombardment is to be expected, nothing major. Sunspots, the big one down south in the center is in major decay and probably won't go off again. Up north, NOAA's only beta gamma region is looking moderately complex, definitely gamma, but unlikely to be too dangerous. I think this region down south should be gamma as well. It looks much more dangerous and is turning into face Earth. Even without any big flares in the last day, we can't really sleep on these active regions, especially with large plasma filaments posing eruption threat pretty much all over the solar surface. You can still see Venus and Jupiter before sunrise. Venus looks astounding. Orion is up there too underneath it. Betelgeist on the left, Rigel's the big star on the right, Aldebaran is the star up top. Don't forget our next major geocentric conjunction is less than two weeks away, Mars and Saturn in the evening sky. That's the news, folks. Be safe.